What is going on guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here and today in this Jira tutorial we are talking about the difference between such things as epic versus story versus task. What is the difference between all of them and how to use them? So uh, I want to let you know right away that if epic is something that uh, strictly Jira thing, Stories and tasks have some meanings outside of Jira. So I will tell you how my teams use that effectively and hopefully it will help you. But it doesn't mean that you should use it the same way if you want to adapt in a different way, it's totally cool. Let's start with Epic. So first of all, what is Epic? Epic allows us to group certain issues together. So if you have stories related to a particular topic and you want to see all the stories that part of this topic, Epic might be a great way to group it. So if I'm releasing a search functionality and there are stories that would say, here is my search bar, here's my autocomplete functionality, they all might go into a single Epic that is called search. Let's try to create one and see how it works. So here I have my Scrum project for uh, actually Jira tutorials. This is that example one i don't really use it but i like to show stuff on it because it's very real so let's say i want to group my jira tutorials by a particular topic so for example i want to group all the dashboard related tutorials together so for this i have uh, i see one ticket here there are probably more more than that but let's create an epic to create an epic, I click on a plus sign as we are doing with any um, thing that we want to create. And then we click on issue type and select epic. When you do that, you have an epic name, the one that will actually appear and it's easy to read. So make sure it's short and easy to understand. So we will have dashboard related. Summary will not be forward facing, but I, it needs to be, to be there, so I'm putting it in the same. And here's some description, dashboard related issues. So I click create. And you might expect it to appear as something in a backlog because if you create a bug or a story or a task, but in Scrum projects, they don't appear like that. They are invisible until you are using them. So let's try to use an epic on a one story that I have. So if I have how to create dashboard in Jira, I click on it. And then I click show more or I can do it different ways, but I don't want to go into it. I just want to do it quickly. And there's epic link in here. I select it and already it prefills with a newly created epic dashboard related. So if I select it, you will see that it appears right away. So it's very easy to see at a glance when I look at my backlog, uh, what is the topic of this particular issue. So let's say that my creating a burn down chart in Jira is dashboard related as well. So let's assume it's that. Let's go to show more uh, epic link and add it to an epic again. So now we have two issues related to an epic. And you might see it in uh, here as well. So, but you would ask, okay, Anatoly, that's great. But how would I see if I want to see all the dashboard related items? My backlog can be huge. Some of those items may already be completed. How do I see them all? Well, to do that, you need to click on the Epic itself and uh, just select one of the issues and click on the Epic link. That will be one of the ways to do that. So now here you are on the epic view, you see here's a name, summary, description, everything is here. And we have all the issues assigned to this particular epic. So as I said, epic is the way to group things. This is how you can group. You can also assign labels to it. So it's easy you can, for jQuery language, Jira query language, you can easily query it and create some cool dashboards or reports or include them in releases. So there are a bunch of, way, a bunch of uh, ways you can use labels here. You can also assign this epic to someone. You can set the status of it. So it actually acts as any other uh, task or story, but it's actually a group, which is very cool. So also you can see uh, the doneness, how 
uh, much of it is done. So if one of them will be done, it probably will show up 50% here. I can see a status of every story. Very, very useful. I highly recommend you use Epics. Don't overuse them. But if you have like five, six related uh, issues, please put them in an Epic because it's good on a glance to see uh, what is in there. You can track some numbers, how many story points this Epic has, and uh, you can predict when it's going to be done and stuff like that. It's very useful. So I highly recommend you use Epics. Now let's look at the other uh, two. So story points and tasks. So story points and tasks can both be created by clicking on plus and selecting either a task or a story. But this is not the only way to create them. You also, if you have a story, you can create a subtask of a story. So if you go to a task, so now we are in a story inside of it, we can click on create subtask. And then I can say, film the tutorial. And as you might see, it would create a task, which will be a, uh, the uh, issue type would be a subtask. So actually tasks can go underneath stories as well, which is important to remember. So this is one of the differences. You cannot have uh, sub stories. You can only have sub tasks. So this is one of the differences. Also, when you click on plus, if you create a task, it's easy to do. It has summary, description, and story points. I'm going to talk about story points in a second. Uh, you can say, buy a new microphone will be my task. Create. Go to backlog again to see it. So as you might see, tasks are appearing in a, back in a backlog. Epics do not. Stories for sure do appear on a backlog and subtasks, they don't appear directly, but they do appear if you go inside of the story itself. So what is the difference? Why do we need tasks and why do we need stories? That's a great question and I'll explain you how we use it in our teams. In our teams, we say that stories, they deliver business value, while tasks do not. For example, if I have a story that says how to create quick filter in Jira, the business value would be for me to deliver a final project and for you guys to consume it. So this is a story because I'm bringing some value to my end customers who are the viewers uh, of my uh, YouTube channel. Well, task would be something that will not result in an end business value. For example, buying a new microphone will definitely help me make better videos and in the end deliver a better business value or maybe not. However, it does not result directly in a business value. For this reason, in my teams, we do not estimate tasks. So tasks do not have story points because for us, story points is a pure business value. So if, if I know that we delivered 30 story points, we know that the value, it's a pure business value of 30 and not like 10 of this was some business value and 10 of this we met a couple times, bought a microphone and stuff like that. We understand that uh, there are things that not, not everything can be a business value and that's why we also have tasks. Hopefully that makes sense. If you're doing it differently in your teams, please put your ideas in the comments down below. I wanna hear how you are doing that. Uh, if you like this video, please click on like, subscribe to this channel because it's very important to me. Uh, I appreciate every one of you and I'm recording those videos every week to give you some business value. I have a stories and from that I create my videos. So if you need help with Jira uh, or you need help with Agile, please go to defineagile.com, schedule a free consultation. I will be happy to help you. And until the next one, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.